Hello everyone. Uh, I'm uh, Professor Abdul Karim from University of Science uh, Malaysia. And um, in this lecture, I'm going to talk about uh, edible oil refining with focus on uh, the crude, crude palm oil, which can be obtained from the uh, meso cup of the oil palm fruits, and also the crude palm kernel oil. And um, we, uh, we are going to discuss about the refining of this crude oil to produce the refined oil and the production of the, uh, the, the various products from the palm oil. So in this picture, um, a sample of uh, crude palm oil in the, in the bottle, uh, you can see that it's, it has a very dark orange or dark red color and is quite viscous. And um, in the bottle, you can see that the, the crude palm oil has been uh, separated into two layers. The, the bottom layer is the sediment or sometimes called uh, a food. And on the top layer here is the oil. So um, in the crude palm oil, uh, basically it contains around 95% triacylglycerols or uh, triglycerides. This is the actual uh, part of the oil that we want to separate from the crude palm oil. And um, um, there are about, you know, maybe 5% or less of the non-triacylglycerol uh, fraction which consists of a mixture of uh, phosphatides or the gums, free fatty acid, uh, FFA, oxidation products, and, and other things. So basically, the aim of edible oil refining or crude palm oil refining is to remove all these components down to a very low level. In this slide, you can see the list of uh, non triacylglycerol components in the crude uh, palm oil or in uh, any uh, crude, palm, uh, crude vegetable oil. So, for example, we have a free fatty acid or FFA. This is um, in the crude oil usually present in at around uh, three to five percent, and uh, in the refining we want to reduce uh, to a very low level, maybe less than 0.1%. Uh, percent. And we have partial glycerol, uh, mono and di uh, glycerols, which are the results of partial hydrolysis of the uh, triglycerides in the crude oil. Then we have phosphoacylglycerol or phosphatides. Uh, this is uh, what we call gums in the oil, which give uh, a viscous uh, property to the crude oil. And other components such as uh, pigment, sterol, tocopherol, oxidation products, protein, and the trace elements. The trace elements such as copper and iron, these are actually pro-oxidant, which can promote oxidation in the, crude, in, in the oil. So we need to remove this to avoid oxidation of the oil. And we have uh, other components such as waxes, hydrocarbons, uh, moisture, dirt, and uh, other components. So in, in essence, we can say that the aim of refining is to remove those components uh, that I mentioned in the previous slides that can have adverse effect on the overall oil quality with the least possible damage to the triacylglycerol. In this picture, you can see uh, various uh, palm oil products at various uh, stages of refining. So, for example, uh, on the left here, this is a crude uh, palm oil. Then, uh, after the bleaching stage to remove the pigments, you can see the color is uh, lighter. So, this is a bleach uh, palm oil. Then, um, uh, in this uh, picture, this is actually the after the uh, bleaching and deodorization to remove. Uh, the, the fatty acids, you can see the color is um, much lighter. And uh, this one is actually the oil after bleaching and after the deodorization to, uh, process to remove as much as possible the color, the, uh, fat, the free fatty acid. Um, so this is basically the refined oil. And this is actually the byproduct of the refining process, which is the fatty acid uh, distillate which can be processed further to produce uh, other uh, oleochemicals and uh, to produce uh, a soap. Okay, this is a schematic uh, flowchart to show the process in the uh, refining of crude palm oil. So we start with the crude uh, palm oil. Then um, for the refining process, uh, in general, we can, uh, uh, div uh, we can uh, divide the process into uh, physical refining, uh, 
uh, basically by using uh, high temperature uh, steam distillation and uh, chemical refining uh, which uh, uses uh, chemical uh, by using uh, alkali or the caustic uh, solution uh, to uh, remove the um, uh, components that uh, that need to be uh, removed during the refining process. So in physical refining, we need uh, a step called degumming to remove the gums, the uh, phosphoacylglycerol or phosphatides. Then um, the next step is the bleaching process uh, to remove the pigment and uh, deodorization process this is the uh, steam uh, high temperature steam distillation to remove the volatile uh, fatty acid and reduce it to a very low level so the product of the physical uh, refining is called refined bleach deodorized oil rbdo and the byproduct is a free fatty acid uh, distillate in chemical refining we use a caustic uh, solution uh, so the free fatty acid in the crude oil is uh, will be neutralized by the alkali uh, neutralization uh, process and we get a byproduct called a soap stock and this will be separated out by uh, from the oil from by centrifugation then we can also uh, add the earth bleaching this is a bleaching step to uh, remove the pigment or the color of the oil, then the deodorization process to remove the free fatty acid, and the, and the product of this alkali neutralization is called neutralized bleach deodorized uh, oil or NBDO. Um, the at some stage after after the bleaching process, uh, we can uh, take the oil uh, and uh, for modification process, for example, hydrogenation and inter esterification but after this process for example after hydrogenation um, there are probably uh, some uh, free fatty acid that need to be removed by the deodorization process and um, the other modification process uh, for example fractionation can be done on the uh, refined oil to produce um, the refined bleach deodorized uh, sterine uh, fraction which is the high melting fraction and uh, refined bleach deodorized all in which is the low melting uh, fraction okay now let's look at more detail on uh, at the various unit operation in the refining of um, crude palm oil uh, the crude oil um, usually is stored um, in the in the tank and during storage it will separate into two layers so the sediments or the oil uh, insoluble part uh, sometimes called food uh, can be separated out uh, from the oil then uh, the degumming process uh, will remove the phospholipid which is the gums um, the viscous uh, component in the oil and uh, also other components such as sugars resins proteinaceous compounds and trace metals and in, in the crude oil in the alkali neutralization uh, process um, we add the caustic or the sodium hydroxide to uh, neutralize the free fatty acid and uh, remove also other components, uh, pigments and uh, some uh, gums, sulfur compounds and other oils insoluble and water soluble uh, compound. And then the washing step is to uh, wash the, the soaps that is produced uh, as a byproduct from the neutralization um, step. Uh, drying stage. Uh, drying is used to remove the water, which sometimes is added uh, during the degumming uh, process. So the water has to be removed to a very, very low level because uh, water can promote hydrolysis of the uh, triglycerides in the oil. Bleaching is a process to remove color, the pigments uh, which, pro which give the color of the crude oil. And during bleaching also will remove other components, for example, the oxidation products, uh, more trace metals and the trace uh, soaps, which results from the neutralization uh, step. Then the filtration step, basically to remove the, uh, what we call, uh, spent bleaching earth. Because bleaching earth um, actually 
exists in the form of uh, powder or particles, insoluble particles. So after the bleaching process, uh, the filtration will, will remove the residual bleaching earth as much as possible from the oil. Deodorization step uh, is basically the uh, final step in the refining. This, uh, this will involve high temperature process to remove the volatile fatty acid down to a very, very low level and also to remove some uh, residual mono and diglycerides and other small compounds, aldehydes and ketones, hydrocarbons, sulfur compounds and the product of pigment decomposition uh, from the oil. In physical refining, the impurities uh, removed during the refining process also uh, fatty acids, uh, mono and diglycerides, aldehydes and ketones, uh, hydrocarbons and, and so on. These are basically the same components that uh, will be removed uh, if we use a chemical uh, refining process. And another step uh, uh, typically used in the refining is called polishing. Basically, the objective is to remove uh, as much as possible the insolubles, the trace oil insoluble from the oil. Okay, now let's look at some of the differences between uh, alkali refining and, and uh, physical uh, refining. So let's start uh, by looking at the criteria that we can use uh, or when we can use alkali uh, refining. Um, alkali refining is more suitable for uh, crude oil which contain relatively low content of uh, free fatty acids because um, if the amount of fatty, free fatty acid is high, then uh, will, it will react with the uh, alkali and form a significant amount of uh, soap stock. And the soap stock can actually en uh, entrap some of, of the oil and increase the oil losses. So with low amount of free fatty acid, low amount of soap stock will be uh, produced and therefore this will reduce the oil uh, losses. So in the alkali neutralization step, um, the, a lot of uh, free fatty acid and uh, the phosphatides or the gums uh, will be removed. Alkali refining uh, does not normally require a separate uh, degumming step because during the alkali neutralization uh, step, uh, a significant amount of uh, gums has been uh, removed at this stage. Uh, one of the major difference between alkali refining and uh, physical refining is the production of soap stock in the alkali uh, refining process. The soap stock actually uh, results from the reaction of the free fatty acid and the uh, alkali and this is uh, usually removed uh, by centrifugation um, operation. Uh, alkali refining is also said to be more adaptable to crude oils of low quality, uh, which means that um, if the crude oil contain a significant amount of gums or phosphatides the alkali refining can be uh, adjusted uh, to uh, remove the gums as much as possible without um, much oil losses. Okay, now let's look at the uh, physical refining. Uh, physical refining is uh, in general more suitable with, uh, for oils with a high amount of uh, free fatty acid but low, relatively low content of uh, phosphatides. So our palm oil actually uh, meet this uh, cr criteria and also uh, coconut oil. Uh, free fatty acids are generally uh, very volatile and can be removed uh, by using a steam distillation. But uh, unlike um, alkali uh, refining where the degumming step may not, may not be ne necessary, in uh, physical refining, uh, the degumming step is very, very uh, important. For example, we can use the acid degumming step to reduce the phosphatides or the gum to a very low level uh, with usually less than 20 ppm uh, phosphorus. And because we use uh, steam to remove the free fatty acid, no soap stock uh, is uh, produced, uh, unlike in the uh, alkali refining because in alkali refining the free fatty acid is uh, reacted with the alkali to, produ to, to produce a soap stock. So in general, we can say uh, some of the advantages of physical refinings. Uh, uh, we can get a higher oil yield and we can get a reduction in chemical uh, usage 
and also uh, less problem uh, on the uh, waste treatment. Uh, however, physical refining is uh, said to be less adaptable to crude oils of low quality, which contain high amount uh, of uh, phosphatides because you need to, we need to remove the gums uh, in the degumming process, which can cause uh, or increase the losses of the oil. In Malaysia, actually, physical refining is more uh, popular. So, uh, actually, there are more than 95% of Malaysian uh, palm oil using uh, physical refining uh, as, opposed to physic uh, as opposed to alkali refining. So, next time, if you happen to pass through a palm oil uh, refinery uh, or palm oil uh, factory, probably you will see this uh, tall uh, structure or tall column here. This is actually the uh, due to riser uh, column um, which actually uses steam distillation principles to remove the free fatty acid from the crude palm oil and this is how it looks like from uh, inside the uh, refinery plant